Hello friends and welcome back to another Max Raid event update video. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's video we're going to be looking at the changes to the Max Raid events in the Sword and Shield titles. The wild area has been updated and we do have a new selection of G-Max Pokemon to look for in the wild area. We've said goodbye to... GMAX Gengar and GMAX Machamp for the time being as well as all the version exclusive event Pokemon that we've just had access to and making way for them we've got a bunch of new ones to search for so as always what we're going to do is take a quick hop over to Cerebi which is one of my favorite resources and one of the best resources for anything to do with Pokemon uh, and we can check out what we've got in the dens going forward so you can see the uh, the event actually runs from today which is the 26th of march and it runs all the way up until the 27th of april so this is running for an entire month you've got an entire month to get all of these exclusive new pokemon that are available in these event raids so if we go down first of all because we want to go to the gmax pokemon um and they're the most important ones that's what everyone's worried about uh, more concerned about, I should say, not worried about. But we've got now Copperaja, we've got Garbodor, Charizard, and Duraludon. So they're available on both editions, Sword and Shield. Um, but you need to be particularly careful at looking what star the red is to make sure that you're able to access all four of them we'll go through them in a minute um but we'll go through sword first of all uh you've got the qfant the trubbish the charmander and the duraludon so you've got the pre-evolutions of these gmax pokemon here and these are all available on one star raids uh, which is good especially if you're just starting your playthrough of sword and shield if you've just got it and you're in the wild area you've got access to those dens one star raids you'll still be able to get these pokemon which is great news for you guys getting that Duraludon early on as well is pretty nice. Uh, then we move up to the two star raids. You've got the Qfant, the Trubbish, the Charmeleon, and the Duraludon. So we get the 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 evolution of Charmander here, the Charmeleon, and it's kind of nice because recently we had access to the Kanto starters, so now we've got the Charmander back as well, which is quite nice for everyone. Um, and then moving on to the three star raids, which is going to be for the majority of you guys out there who have already complete your game. You're going to have access to Copperaja. You've got a 20% chance of that and the Garbodor. 15% for the G-Max Charizard and 15% for the Duraludon under three-star raids. Four-star raids, you're looking at the Copperaja. The uh, Garbodor, again, they're both 20%. Charizard going to be 15% and the Duraludon 15%. And now pay a little bit more attention, you sword players out there, because your five-star raids will only give you access to Copperaja and the Duraludon. You won't be able to have a five star raid with the Charizard or the Garbodor. Uh, this is an exclusive just for these versions, and the, obviously, the opposite is for Shield, which we'll move on to in a minute. Um, the items, there's nothing really special within the item pool from these Pokemon. We're just getting the standard stuff the rare candies, rare bones, uh, the Dynamax candies, the XL can the candies to level up, and things like that, and some TMs. Uh, or TRs, I should say, in berries. So nothing super special, but they're handy nonetheless. And then we'll move on to shield. Pretty much all the same stuff as before on your one-star raids, your two-star raids, and your three-star raids. And then it gets a little bit different. Going into the four-star raids is going to be pretty much the same as the other version. But then your five-star raids in shield are always going to be between Garbodor and the Charizard for this event. Only 15% uh, for the Garbodor. Um, and then the 20% for the Charizard. So you've got a better chance uh, of getting the Charizard if you're in the Shield version, and then a better chance of getting the Duraludon if you're in the, the Sword version. So that is all of the brand new Pokemon that we've got access to now to uh, hunt in the wild area, which is pretty exciting. Uh, there's some nice Pokemon here that we've not had access to in the events before. And I do believe now with this event, it, the, all of the G-Max Pokemon that we've had access to within the Sword and Shield games have now been done as event G-Max Pokemon. Um, so what we're gonna do is just hunt for one of these new G-Max Pokemon. The first thing you wanna do, and we've been around this barbecue a few times, um, to update the dens in the wild area, the first thing you wanna do is come to your mystery gifts on your home screen and then go down to wild area new just click into it it will connect to the internet and it will pop up with a little message in a moment come on internet let's do this here we go 
uh, just connecting and there we go you've connected to the internet received the latest updates on the wild area now we know these events will be populated in our game so we can now activate some dens and see if we're lucky enough to get them now i've done this in previous update videos for the den events uh this is in drapple grove uh there are two dens next to each other so you can run between both of them pretty quickly uh, if you're wanting to just access the event den uh, because they are a particular den. They can appear anywhere within the wild area. They have to be a red beam. Um, but you can go between these two dens pretty quickly. And just keep dropping wishing pieces until you get the event den appearing. And it does cost a bit. But there you go, you see. So we've got our first one here, which is a four-star Duraladon. Um, we will switch Pokemon. We don't want to bring the, the T-Tar here. Let's see what we've got. We've got a, a ground or a fire type. I know what we've got. I've got my old trusty excadrill is this it or is have i got another one somewhere here he is yeah jungle fat now this is a special special excadrill it should be enough for a four star this is the excadrill that i used in the 2013 uk national championships um and that year i got third in that tournament which was pretty nice uh, and i've traded it over through pokemon home and now brought it into my sword and shield game and i have my favorite little excadrill uh they got me all that all that way in that tournament and uh, won me an invite to the world championships in vancouver that year which is incredible so uh, i love this little excadrill and we'll bring it here and you can see the duraladon one of the things that i have heard uh about these event raids is that the G-Max Charizard is shiny locked, so you cannot get it as a shiny Pokemon. Now, I don't know if it's like 100% confirmed or not, but if you are planning to shiny hunt for G-Max Charizard, do your research beforehand. I'll do a bit more digging around. If I find anything out, I will, I will put a post down in the, the comments below just to let you know, but um, it's just to make sure that you're not wasting a bunch of time trying to shiny hunt for this one and it, it, it's not possible to actually get it as a, a shiny Pokemon. So just do your research, like I say. Um, I think the other Pokemon that are available in this event, uh, Denred, um, are all able to be shiny, so you can hunt for those shiny, but maybe just not the Charizard for whatever reason. Now, you should be able to get all of these Pokemon with their hidden abilities. If we're going off how all of the other uh, Max Raid Den events run, they all had uh, their hidden abilities available, so I'd imagine these Pokemon do as well. Hopefully, once we catch the Duraludon, we'll be able to have a look at it and see if it has got that stalwart ability, which kind of confirms that it that you, you're able to get them. So we're going to see a break and swipe here. It will lower our attack. We've not got the best selection of Pokemon here. Uh, Wobbuffet, every time I say it, is one of the just random Pokemon. I cry a little bit. Soul Rock isn't the best either, but sometimes it can put in some work. Um, hopefully we've got enough to kind of cut through this Duraludon. I'm hoping, we'll see. Uh, it shouldn't take too long to do, but I mean, it's kind of nice, uh, this selection of event GMAX Pokemon that we've got, especially because Copperaja is not something that we have um, we see too commonly used, especially in competitive play. Um, but it's such a nice design. It's like one of my favorite designed G-Max Pokemon for sure. Um, and also having access to the Charizard as well, which is probably one of the hardest to hunt actually in the game because it's then where it's located. Ah oh, man, it's got like a 5% chance to spawn there. And I'm sure a lot of you already know how painstakingly hard it is to actually hunt that one. So having it as an event Pokemon makes it so much easier to get and uh, have access to at least for a short period of time that you can take advantage of that. Um, and going on how we've seen the, the past few months running, I would assume as well in mid-April, we'll probably get some other uh, events added to these dens before um, May comes around and we get a completely new set of Pokemon available to us. Let's hope we can just knock it out here. That would be incredible. Come on. Come on, Excadrill. Let's do this. Oh, it's so close. It's so close. Come on, we just need Solrock. Oh, yeah. Solrock's our only hope here. <laughs> Come on. Solrock, do this. Max Knuckle coming out. Um, 
yeah, so it'll be interesting to see what they do there. Um, I mean, it would be amazing if we got Mel Metal. We've had the whole bunch of G Max Pokemon now, so I mean, it's going to be interesting to see what they add in if they do update the dens mid month like they have been doing. So there we go. We beat the Duraladon, and uh, what can we use? Uh, we'll use a Rippy Ball because I do want to try and catch it. I do want to see if it's got this hidden ability. It kind of then. Firms that up for you guys going out and hunting these Pokemon, just making sure that they have got their hidden abilities. Um, and we'll see if we can get the, the three rolls in a lock. One, two. Got it. We got it. We got it. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> I was just hoping I didn't jinx myself there. But friends, this about wraps up the video really. Um, I've said about as much as I want to say about this event. Uh, there's lots happened today. We've had the Nintendo Mini Direct, which revealed more news about the DLCs, which is very exciting. For, really looking forward to those in June. And uh, we also had announced another international championship happening, a Wi-Fi tournament online uh, very soon. So check out the details for that. Uh, in the community section of the channel, I will update with uh, the dates for those. Not confirming the hidden ability light metal here, but I'm pretty sure I would put money on that the hidden abilities are available with these Pokemon as well. But you can see here we've got the G Max Duraludon, which is pretty nice. And um, there we go. So if you've enjoyed the video, as always, do drop a like and uh, do subscribe to the channel for more of this sort of content. And uh, we do a lot of VG content on the channel as well. So um, thank you so much for tuning in, friends. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you all for the next one. So until then. Take care and bye-bye.